This winter, over 2,300 people in Portsmouth have gone through this type of interview to qualify for the fuel assistance program. If the tenant or homeowner is accepted, the money is then sent directly to the fuel company to help offset the high cost of winter gas bills. The only people who would receive money directly from the fuel assistance program are those people who have utilities included in the rent. But some Portsmouth tenants of PL artists claim they have never received a dime from the program. Lorraine Moore and Alice Norman have both applied for the fuel assistance program but they still have no heat. They say that this woman, Tina Artis, the daughter of PL Artis, accompanied them when they applied for the fuel assistance. Well, she said, gave me the letter and told me to take it up to the fuel assistant, which I did, and which they supposed to uh, give me heat in here, but I haven't gotten the heat yet. Tina, she filled out the papers right then and there. And then we went in the back and she fit, I mean, she answered the questions in the back. Assistant City Manager Chet McGinnis confirms that the Social Services Department is investigating fraud in the fuel assistance program. There is an investigation going on. It is being conducted by the Department of Social Services. The City's Health Department is also investigating artist enterprises. Tomorrow, inspectors will begin checking out 23 homes in the downtown area for possible health violations. In Portsmouth, Chris Cahoon, The Daily News.